It's just ridiculously beautiful. It's so nice. We're David and Sarah. At the end of 2021, we packed up our lavish Aussie lives into four suitcases to do a two year working holiday in Canada. The awesome sights and experiences you're about to witness are the result of two people prioritizing fun, adventure, and each other over financial security, career goals, and social ideals. If you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming adventures. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another video. Today, we are going to be that's not break dancing either, that is canoeing. So, <laughs> does that look like break? <laughs> <laughs> kind of. We're going canoeing on what we think is one of the most underrated lakes here in the Canadian Rockies. Less than half the price of what it is in Emerald, Moraine, and Lake Louise. The good thing is, there's not a lineup for canoes. I mean, I guess we're gonna see. Let's just wait and see. Let's, Let's just, just go and, and wait and see. It could, could be, be crazy. The worst it ever. is. It is Saturday today, so everything I said, I'm probably gonna have to take it back. Okay, guys, we lied. Seems like there's quite a bit of people here. And no canoes. Okay, so that was a fail. Uh, we're gonna go to the boat ramp and see if maybe the canoes are there. But we are shocked at how many people are in that car park. That's the first time we've ever seen more than a couple of cars in Kananaskis. Yeah, and it could be because it is Saturday today, so that makes a big difference. And there's still parking though. Like it's still not crazy for 11 o'clock in the morning. That's still way better than Lake Louise and Lake Moraine and all those places. Way better. You can get a park there. And it's free. And it's free. We're the only ones here. <laughs> it seems like there is barely anyone here actually. <laughs> so maybe we were right. Seems like everyone just stops at the first day use area. But another kilometer down the road there is another one. It's totally empty. So I guess it is one of the most underrated places to canoe in the Rockies. I guess so. We're gonna try and take our camera gear on the canoe. Is that stupid? Comment below. Yeah, that's really dumb. Monty is the only RV in the whole park. I think we have to walk down this little trail and then we'll get to the boat rental place. Oh, there's someone there. Mm. Basil! It's not your lake. David's coming back. They are struggling. I wish you were here. Like, I wish I went to go and get them the money. He went out about 10 times. <laughs> the closer we get to launching this thing, the more apprehensive I feel about taking all this gear with us. But anyway, we're doing it and we're doing it for you guys. So like, share and subscribe. Okay, see you on the other side. Bye. Our seats are so far apart that we're not going to be able to like pass anything to each other or anything. So we've got to try and position ourselves. Love you. It's been nice. <laughs> Just oh, quick, there's people coming. We don't want them to see us fail. This feels really unsafe. Okay, here goes nothing. I'm jumping in. We're launching. Which side do you want to paddle on? Because we'll just paddle on opposite sides. Okay, I'll paddle on this side. Okay. I'll paddle Let's on just side. keep it really smooth. Okay. Wow, now this feels cinematic.
screaming. I have to do a fancy crossover so I don't fill the boat up with water. Because Sarah's not paddling. This is so dreamy. I don't know if it's coming through on camera, but it's so cool. There's literally only one other canoe on the lake with us. And this water gets really blue as well. Like today it's a greeny color, but it does get quite blue. We've seen it blue. It's so nice. The air temperature is just perfect. Look at the sky. It's just beautiful. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I would much rather canoe here than Lake Louise, Lake Moraine, Emerald Lake. The views are beautiful there, but they're just as beautiful here. And there's one other canoe out. Except for these power lines, they're a bit of an eyesore, but like you can look past it for the amount of beauty that's beyond. Well, I, like, I look at the back of you, David. It's just ridiculously beautiful. It's so nice. I really hope the camera is doing it some sort of justice. We're kind of on wind power at the moment. Probably going to regret that on the way back. For now, it's amazing. Chile. Don't you drop that oar. You need to help me paddle back against the wind. Not that it's windy by any stretch of the imagination. There's just a slight breeze and it's just enough to keep propelling us along. Is there anything on here? Um, shuckers! <laughs> <laughs> no, there's nothing on this. <laughs> Don't move to the side. You just almost tippled us over. <laughs> I wanted us over? Tippled. <laughs> tippled. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Didn't know I was capable of tippling us over. Nice, eh? So nice. I love how there's nobody here right now. What would you choose? This place or Lake Louise? I would definitely choose here. Check out that green wall. seems like the wind has changed directions and is also assisting us on the way back, which is nice. Thank you, wind. Gee, that guy has got my sized bag of chips. Reverse parallel, just like a professional. That was so good. Highly recommend getting out on a canoe on Barrier Lake. It's amazing. You will not regret it. Well worth the money. And not overcrowded, as you can see. All right, successful canoe trip. We didn't capsize. Do you reckon the tide's in or out? Uh, I'm not really sure. It's not tidal, I was just joking. Then we have to carry the canoe back up the hill. It's really heavy. Too heavy for you, pumpkin? Oh, okay. Let's just take it slow. No, that makes it worse. <laughs> Go on a canoe, they said. It'll be fun. Ah. On the kayak. Now we know why people do kayaks. <laughs> <laughs> Look at her, guys. What a trooper. What a trooper. My hands are How was it? Yeah, really good. Thank you. Thank you. Have Happy a nice day. day. Yeah, what a place. What a day. What an activity. It was so much fun. Really, really scenic place. Don't go to Banff. <laughs> no, go to Banff. No, Check go it to Banff. out. But if you want a place that's less crowded, way less money, we paid fifty dollars for one hour here. Um, just as beautiful. Mountains all around you. Barrier Lake is. We highly recommend it. It's a Saturday today, guys, and there's like people, but it's not crowded, and there's like everyone's very scattered. Yeah. Around. You you've got your really, space. If you want space, space, you've got space. Yeah. Whereas Lake Louise and that, there is none of that. There's no room to move. There's a lineup for like the canoes as well. There's a lineup for the bus because you can't get your car park up there. Exactly. So it's just a totally different ball game. To think that it's, you know, an hour, hour and 20 from Lake Louise. Yeah. So I'd be highly recommending this. Yeah. It's very, very beautiful. And these mountains are kind of different to Banff as well. I feel like there's a lot of kind of rock fall landslide on the Banff ones, whereas these they are just like crispy rock and then crispy trees. Yeah. 
I like and it's it. It's all still part of the Canadian Rockies. Just an underrated part, I guess. But yeah. That's all we're here for. You're welcome. All right, guys. Well, we hope that you enjoyed the video and make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Okay, here we go. My arm is dead. Goodbye. <laughs>